Hello, everybody. Mark Camp of CampgroundViews.com. Today, I'm going to take you to what you all have decided is the most popular campground to visit at CampgroundViews.com, meaning that is the number one campground overall visits-wise at CampgroundViews.com. It's also the number one um, campground that you've requested to have a campground virtual tour of. But we don't have that yet. Season's just getting going. But today, I caught up with Kathy. She's the general manager of Hilton Head National RV Resort. And you may have noticed that Hilton Head National. What's that national mean? Have you ever heard of Hilton Head National Golf Course, right? You know, the world famous golf course. This RV park is located at it. So Kathy, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Thank, thank you for uh, asking me. So today I want to take a look at and share the RV resort. So real fast, I'm going to bring up my share screen here. So you should see uh, um, in this video now a look at Hilton Head National RV Resort. Their um, website is HiltonHeadRV.com. And what is Hilton Head National RV Resort and how long has it been in existence? So the resort itself came up out of the ground in October of 2019. Uh, we recently just had our, had our in having our soft opening, which started December the 27th of 2021. Uh, what you guys are looking at here, uh, where you see the Lazy River and the main clubhouse, there's uh, 341 sites here. We're spread out over 97 acres, about 2.1 miles of walking trails. Uh, if you look a little bit farther over where you see the golf course, that's what we call our water's edge. That is for adults only, 21 and over. There's 43 sites there. Uh, looks over the lagoon and also looks into the golf course, Hilton Head National. And as you can see, this is an RV resort. It's paved roads, concrete pads. So it's not a tent camping destination. It's an RV resort, you know, unabashed RV resort. And it, so some people may know where Hilton Head is, but others may not actually know where Hilton Head is. Where is Hilton Head? What makes it unique as a destination? And, you know, is it a year round um, destination? Yes, yes. So uh, this resort will be open um, 365 days a year. We are uh, about 13 and a half miles from the beach, which is over on Hilton Head Island. Probably this RV resort is as close as you can get uh, because we take all types of RVs here. Um, it's, it's, if you look at some of the travel and leisure magazines that come out, Mark, you'll see that Hilton Head is actually like a top destination for families. Um, let me take a look there. So Caligny Beach is a very popular beach here on the island. Really uh, family. I think the family is a big thing that you would be looking at whenever you want to come visit this area. And you're located in South Carolina, just north of northeast of the Georgia border. So you're, as you can see from this Google map on the east coast of the United States, it's actually mm -hmm. a this is when I, when I share videos of in, um, information on campgrounds and RV parks, especially with everybody heading to Florida, right? For, uh, one of the biggest complaints we get right now is Florida's full. I always yes. put folks into this region because um, you, you do have cooler nights than you will in Florida. So the, the, the temperature is a little bit more mild in the wintertime. I personally like that for sleeping versus hot and humid. And it's a little bit of a more of a hidden gem location. There's going to be less traffic here, less crowds, especially in the wintertime. But in the summertime, you know, this is, a, this is a hot spot to go. But if you're looking for a campground in January, I guess that's probably why you're in the number one search right now at campgroundviews.com as folks are finding out about this resort and wanting to come here. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So, you know, the thing too is that there's a lot of hype that was built up, especially around here in the Bluffton area. If a, a lot of, there are a lot of RVers that are coming to some of the other RV resorts, but this one has taken such a long time to get to get actually up and out of the ground and get running. That really has created a lot of hype. And it is a big, big resort. A lot of sites here. Um, yeah, you can see in the background of Kathy, she um, loves dogs. So apparently your phone. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. So Hilton Head National Golf Club, um, it, it has PGA tournaments there. It's, it's a a world famous golf course. And so guests of the RV resort, do they get any sort of special access to the golf resort? Is there any opportunities to golf there outside of normal um, tea times? What, what's special, is there anything special about staying at the resort there 
next to the yes, golf course. Yes, if you are staying here at the RV resort, you will get a 20% discount on playing golf there. One of the things I'd really like to point out is this golf course, normally this time of the year, the greens aren't quite as nice and maybe some of the, the fairways aren't. This golf course is in absolutely beautiful shape right now for this time of year. As used to be a, a, an avid golfer, I mean, really, whenever I look at it, it is incredible. And not just because it's connected to us, but this is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous course. It's a Gary Player course. So this, it's a brand new RV resort. One of the questions folks will have is um, why? why? Why an RV resort? Why now? Um, you know, what, what drew Hilton Head um, National to, to doing this and what's the response been so far? So originally, um, I can't speak for the owner, uh, Jim McLaughlin, who owns it. You know, he had this piece of property and he kind of had a dream about either doing some condominiums or possibly building um, townhomes or something here. I believe all of a sudden one evening, he and his uh, uh, vice president, they just came up with building this RV resort. Um, I think at that time, the thought really was, hey, this is a great idea. What these people, what Mr. McLaughlin has done, he truly has built the Weston of RV resorts. Um, and as you can see from some of the pictures that we have here, the Lazy River, uh, our playground, the dog park, even inside of the clubhouse, um, the main clubhouse in Water's Edge, it has, he has really truly taken this resort over the top. Um, I, I just, you know, whenever I was, had the opportunity to visit with Bill Palmer, who is the vice president of Scratch Golf, which owns us, I was told, I knew this was a place that I really wanted to be. Not just because it was a pretty uh, golf course, but what this is going to become in South Carolina and the Hilton Head area. Yeah, you know, normally the, the popular spot, Hilton Head, there's an RV resort actually out on the island. And there's a few other campgrounds in, in the general region. This is becoming mm -hmm. the hot spot for RVing. The entire region there is becoming really hot, right? Um, yes, it is. Um, so there is, uh, once you get off of 95, there is a, there's a RV resort there, um, a campground actually. When you get up to my area, there now is us, and then you have the RV and marina, and then you also have the motor coach resort. The difference in us is that the motor coach resort, obviously, they only take motor coaches. They take A's and C's. Um, the marina, they will only take uh, RVs that are less than 30 feet and with no slides. So that's kind of opened up a little bit of opportunity for us to take fifth wheels. Yeah, and I like this this photo right here. I'll stop here a second. So what, as I've been as we've been going along here, I've been tagging through the the gallery here, and as you can see, this RV resort has all the amenities, and obviously you've got a playground, so it's it's not limited to adults only. Kids can stay here too, and it's a a family friendly destination. This is definitely um, our owner, Mr. McLaughlin. This was one of the things that he wanted. He is very much into making um, the, this resort family oriented. Um, there's also some pictures. We have some pickleball courts here. Uh, we have basketball and then children and, and then an arcade, an over the top arcade. Something like I've never seen in an RV resort before. I imagine there might be some sites available right now if somebody's watching this like, hey, let's head over there. Um, how Absolutely. And um, what's the opportunity to get in there right now? Hey, go to our website, check it out. We, we do have a lot of sites available, obviously. We're a very big resort, 341 sites. I'm sure if you take a look, you will definitely be able to find something here 